Hey, thanks for joining me for my Hope video cast. Opportunity for me on a weekly basis just to share some of the hope that I see out in the wider, uh, wider church. So I wanted to talk to you uh, this week uh, about uh, something that happened uh, last Thursday, so li literally a couple of days ago. And uh, what this was, it, uh, I was at a congregation. I was invited to come and preach and celebrate both the restoration of a congregation after the discovery of mold and also uh, their 175th uh, anniversary. Um, this congregation has a couple hundred members and uh, uh, a pretty good uh, group on Sunday. Um, and that is, that is in of itself an amazing thing, the fact that this congregation was able to do this work thanks to the leadership of their priest and their vestries and the people who got behind them on that restoration project. But that's not what I want to tell you. In the midst of all of this, uh, at the celebration, I met a very faithful Baptist pastor. And that pastor is in charge of nonprofit in town that seeks to serve those who are living on poverty's edge, both with food, medical care, prayer support, uh, community support. And he was there and he told, pulled me aside and said, you do not know the amazing work that this congregation does. They mean so much to the people of this town and their gifts, their money, their time, everything they put into the, our organization makes a massive difference in the lives of the poorest among us. I'll tell you, that was amazing, right? To hear that not only had they been continuing to do this work, but uh, on, the, on the remediation of the mold and everything, uh, they had two floods, by the way, I didn't tell you about that and they had continued to do that work. And that is so hopeful. It is an amazing thing to see how God moves through our congregations out into the world uh, to do amazing service to care and love for those who you and I know from the scripture are Christ himself. So I have a lot of hope this week. That was an amazing gift to me. Thanks for joining me. Now, this week, I hope that you will uh, go and find what is going on in your church that does hopeful ministry. And if you're not involved, join them. Find out what it's like to serve the least, the lost, those in need, those on poverty's edge. Go be faithful, see what it's like. I promise you're gonna find hope not only hope in the Episcopal Church, but you're going to find hope in what God's doing in the world. So thanks for joining me as always.